Hello, my name is Kawasari and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. Now in this video, which is for PagePlus X9, I mainly want to look at using the Assets tab and the Logo Studio. Um, but I do also at the same time want to clear up a couple of errors I made in two previous videos. Um, and I will get around to them when the occasion arrives. So I recently upgraded to version X9 of Page Plus from I think it was X6. Um, so I'm still myself learning and getting to grips with this newer version which is going to be my excuse for the errors I made. Um, so to open the Assets tab over here down the left hand side there's a little arrow yours may already be open but I, I, I normally don't have it open so if you hover over it it will pop out and if you actually click on it it will lock and stay out so this is the assets tab and I have made the video looking into that so I won't go over it too much but I'll just come up here and click browse and it will open up the assets browser now when I did look at the assets browser before I used this man climbing up a triangle and I designed or try to design a logo using that and changing the colors but I'll choose a different logo this time and I'll come down to this in the pack files and it says logos and then you have all these various logos that Serif has set up for you and that is the man climbing up the triangle this time I'm going to click on this green and mauve bird and once you click on it it will put it in the graphics tab within the assets browser so I'll just click close on that and then I will drag this onto my page and this will open up the insert logo dialog box where you can just insert the picture or you can insert the picture with your name and details underneath or to the right or to the left with the details I will click on the details underneath and then I will put in the company name which I'm going to call Blue Bird Builders. I'm not going to bother with a logo, so I'll just delete a uh, motto. I'll just delete that and click OK. And then this is the basic logo here, which you can resize and alter. Now obviously as I've called this company Bluebird Builders I want a blue bird so I want to change the colors of it now in the previous video what I did was I unlocked ungrouped the objects and then I clicked on the various areas and then altered the colors from the color tab up here um, to a large extent it worked quite well but there was one area the middle of the triangle which I couldn't get to change the color to I couldn't work out how to get to it so what I looked into and found that I could use the logo studio to do this and that was the first error that I made in the previous video is that I didn't use the logo studio so in these two icons down the bottom here the first one being ungroup objects and the other one is edit in the logo studio so you click on that and it will open that logo that we've designed in the studio and what you can do now is you can if you click on the main picture that you want to change then click ungroup objects in the little logo that appears underneath 
what will happen is all the different aspects that make up this image will be highlighted. So you just need to select one. So I'm going to select this main body of the bird and I just need to pick a colour for it. I could do it from up here but I'm just going to stick with basic colours. So I'll just click on the blue and then that will change to blue and I can you can also alter the how strong that is by the slider here so you go for a really dark blue or a slightly lighter blue which is what I'm going to go for and then just need to select another area which is this movie color of the bird's breast and I will go for the scion rather than the dark blue again I will just just lower the tint slightly and I think I'll keep the grey of this tail area because it works quite well now what I will just do is I'll just click back on this main body of the bird and you can also alter the transparencies from up here so from being a solid color down to almost invisible and you can also add a bit of gradient color to it so you can sort of go from light to dark depending on how strong you want that color to go as you as I've picked this one here it is it's darker on this side and then it fades off or you can do it from the bottom and fade off up to the top so you don't have to stick with just a solid or a slight tint you can also add gradient um, I'll leave that there but I will increase the tint up a bit so you know got a darker wing and it sort of fades into that area there so I'll just click on back on here and what I want to do also is change the text color um, the program crashed on me so I've had to redo everything as best I can up to the point where I was um, it may not be 100% exactly how I had it set up before but it is near enough so I can carry on where I was um, I think the program photo uh, Pace Plus uses up a lot of memory as does the program I use to record the videos and sometimes it will overload and crash the programs so I'm very sorry about that but as I was saying what I want to do now is change the color of the name of the company because I want it to be blue so what I'll do is just highlight the text and just pick the dark blue color in fact what I'll do is I'll pick the cyan color and then I will highlight the bees in the three names and make those all the dark blue. So that would be the end of what I'm going to do, changing the colors. And then I will just come up here to where it says Close Logo Studio. And then it will bring us back to the main page plus and as you can see my logo is now totally different to how it started out so I can now oh, it could lower the size and what have you but I will increase the size just for demonstration purposes because of what I want to sh show you next now let me also shut the asset window so I can get more of this on screen maybe zoom in a little bit more in the previous video 
um, when I looked at artistic text, I bemoaned the loss of a button down the left hand side here, which was called the FX button. And I, I very much preferred it to using the styles tab to add things like drop shadows and bevels and what have you. But I thought they had removed it and I wasn't too happy about that. But I have now found it. They've moved it over to the right hand side and it is up here in the just next to these four tabs up here and if you hover over it it will open the effects tab and you can if you're quick enough you can come down here no nope, wrong one like I said you have to be quick enough and just click on it and it will stay open so I can now oh, no it won't stay open it obviously only stays open while you're hovered over it. So what I want to do is add a drop shadow. So I will just click a little dot inside that square. And as you can see, it's now added a drop shadow to the bird and the name. You can alter the distance of how far away that shadow is. You can also change the angle of where it is and the intensity of that shadow it becomes like more blurred or more faded and you've got a blur and opacity that you can add to it as well you can also change the color um, but I will leave it black I'll just bring it a little bit nearer and I'll change the angle to about there, I think. Maybe just lower the opacity slightly. That way. Just so as a, a mere hint of a shadow, hopefully. And there are other options like Feather, which I haven't really checked out and a note, a note to know what it does. You can also add Outer Glow which will just add this yellow sort of halo effect. Again, you can change the opacity, the blur, the intensity of it. But again, I will just leave that where it is. Now, these three options are, I'm assuming, the default options, but you can add more. Put up here, a little button that says Choose Effects. You click on that, and you can have 2D effects. If you just hover over it, it'll open up a little sub menu. So you could have that blur, inner shadow, reflections, bevel, and emboss, which I will select. And I hope you can see this, but it has always automatically added a slight beveling effect or embossing effect around the, particularly this area on the tail and the blue breast of the bird. But again, you can. At the moment, it's got soften on zero, but you can lower that down or raise it up. The same goes for the depth. You can, or the de depth, in, the higher you push the depth, the more that, especially that blue breastplate there, will stand out. Um, other effects, let's have a look at what's they got. No color fill reflection reflection. Oh, I see that just adds that on the bottom. Didn't like that one so much, so I will turn that one off just by clicking on the little button that where it says reflection. Turn that off and see what the 3D effects are. Um, Let's try the bump map. Ooh. Yeah, so as you can see, it's made us a much more dramatic looking logo. It's also changed the text as well. So 
you can add all sorts of effects to the effects tab and make a much more interesting logo than in my opinion you could have done with the um, styles tabs so let me just reduce this down to a size that would be more likely to be used in a publication and then just zoom out a tad there you go so I prefer to use the effects tab rather than the styles tab you have because you have when you select one of these you really don't have that much control over the effect once you've picked it whereas with the effects tab you get various sliders to make adjustments so I'm glad they've kept it I'm not 100% certain why they had to move it but now I know where it is I can use it in future so I hope this helps you design your own logos using the assets and then once you've got your basic design using that asset go to the logo studio make color alterations or other sort of more minor alterations using the logo studio then close the logo studio and then go to the effects tab and add even more effects so I hope that has helped you and has also cleared up the errors that I made in the previous two videos for Pace Plus. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Oh, before I do that, let me just come to that open this assets tab. You can save this design for future use. If you come up to my design and you click on this and just drag it over that design will now go into my designs and then you can come up to save as and it will save the current pack which is all the assets and that will then be included for all future times so just um, I'll just call this one Bluebird save so that will come back every time this now opens and I can use it again and again on whatever publications and you could even then copy and paste this and put it into web plus right hopefully that's the last of my mistakes thank you very much and goodbye